Beyond the Gates is a new American movie released on video on demand only a few days ago. It had an interesting and cool poster and I read that it would have something to do with VHS games, so of course you can count me in. The story of Beyond the Gates revolves around the two brothers, Gordon and John, who have grown a bit apart from each other and are now having a reunion due to the father disappearing over half a year ago, and enough to presume that the father has sadly passed away. The brothers start to clean out their father's amazing VHS store when they come across a VCR game called Beyond the Gates. Intrigued by the thing, they of course start to play around with it, and the game starts to blend reality and fantasy, and the brothers start to believe that the game itself is responsible for the disappearance of the father, and the only way to find out what truly happened to him is to beat and finish the game, even if it puts their lives in great risk. The premise of Beyond the Gates sounds like some retro 80s fantastical fun ride drip with nostalgia, and I believe that was the intent of the filmmakers as well. It's not the only project that attempts to play with our nostalgic feelings that has been released in the last few years, and with the success of stuff like Stranger Things, it is hard to believe that this small trend won't continue in 2017. I did not think that Beyond the Gates succeeded in bringing us back in time to the 1980s though. The main problem with the film is the lack of the fantastic. It does not go all the way and a few times it becomes supernatural, it doesn't come off as believable to me. Either they just didn't have the money for it, or they just didn't want to go all out with the magical aspect of the story. The film has a depressive mood in it with basically all of the main characters having personal issues which they have to overcome in order to beat the game. It's not a bad idea, but it takes away from the more fun elements of the film, and I would have preferred it if they put more emphasis on that instead of the character's troubles. And the movie severely lacks humor. There are also a few gory scenes that come off as a bit too over the top gore for a story like this in my opinion. It's nice to see things like this being done with practical effect but it felt a bit unnecessary in this film. I also didn't care much for the main characters, which of course takes away from the suspense when they are put in dangerous situations. It was cool to see Barbara Crampton show up as the hostess of the Beyond the Gates board game, but even that stuff could have been done a bit more creative instead of having her basically stare at the camera the entire time. Her look was perhaps a nod to Carnival of Souls, and I wouldn't have minded it if she had more to do in the film. There are also some very nice small music tunes in the film that also tries to bring up the nostalgic feelings of everyone that grew up in the 80s. While it is a nice score, it doesn't fully succeed as you just notice that it is there, but it doesn't do that much to enhance what is going on in the screen. Beyond the Gates sadly didn't do that much for me. It is not a terrible film by any means, but it just ended up being a bit of a mediocre experience for me, as I just could not get into the story or the characters. If they'd used the basis for this film and created something else which has much more focus on the fantastic and fun, then I would probably be all in on it. Perhaps with children finding the game and having to explore it instead of adults with adult issues. I do believe that fans of modern indie horror might find stuff to enjoy about it though. Other than that, I don't believe you will be missing much by skipping this one. Beyond the Gates gets a 2.5 out of 5. Anyone else seen Beyond the Gates so far? If so, what did you think of it? And did you play any VCR games back in the day? I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more horror movie reviews coming very shortly. And as always, thank you very much for watching.